Sounds good. Thank you, Bill. A West Michigan man will spend the rest of his life behind bars. Troy Brake, sentenced today in the murders of four people in an Ottawa County home that he later set on fire in an attempt to cover up the evidence. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Colker has been following this trial since day one. Ken's in Grand Haven with more. The sentencing of Troy Brake was a given. Four life terms without parole. One for each of the people he killed. It was mandatory. Is there anything you'd like to say before sentence is imposed? No. With respect to count one, it's a sentence in court to be turned over to the Michigan Department of Correction <clears throat> on this first degree murder charge to serve a term of life in prison without parole. But there was drama in the courtroom before the sentence was handed down. Words spoken by those who lost the most. A mother spoke of her daughter, Catherine Brown, an 18-year-old Michigan State student, taken by Troy Brake. September 29th, 2008, a monstrous black cloud engulfed our part of the world in Conklin and Wright Township. It was a black cloud run on by the hateful, evil act committed by Troy Brake. A 12-year-old boy, Catherine Brown's brother, spoke of his sister. Um, your, your Honor, my name is James Brown, and today I speak on the behalf of my sister, Catherine. My sister was a nice person and a wonderful sister. And a relative spoke for the Zimmers, Charm Zimmer, and her sons, Jeremy and Tyler, as she held up their photos. We felt and still feel sick about the pain that they endured and the tragedy that they suffered. There's not a day that goes by that we don't think about this and long for our loved ones to be here with us again. Brake, convicted by an Ottawa County jury in May for killing Catherine Brown and the Zimmers. Prosecutors say he killed the Zimmers to get to Brown, a woman he could not otherwise have. Brake showed no reaction as friends and relatives of the victims spoke in court today. As he left the courtroom, no comment. Anything to say, Troy? For more on what happened today in the courtroom, let's go to Ken Colker live in Grand Haven. Ken, let's start with Troy Brake and his demeanor in court today. Was there anything to read from his body language and lack of comment? You know, he was just like he was all the way through the trial, sometimes seeming almost disconnected. He showed no reaction. There were a few times while some of the victim's relatives spoke and the friend spoke that he actually leaned over to talk to his attorney. So there's no reaction, you know, no sign of emotion at all. Ken, I'd like to talk a little bit about, uh, I, I, I don't recall victim impact statements uh, is, is carrying such emotion as the ones they did today. That 12-year-old brother uh, speaking in court today, describe for us the, the demeanor, the mood in the court when these victims were well, speaking today? You know, there was, it was one of those hearings where, you know, everything is, like I said before, is, was cut and dried, but the emotion was, you know, there were a lot of tears. Just about everybody who got up and spoke um, either was fighting back tears or was crying. Every, you know, people with, with napkins, you know, just trying to fight back the tears. It was, uh, you know, it was pretty gut-wrenching. Absolutely. Ken Colker reporting for us live in Grand Haven tonight. Ken, thank you for your reports. Susie. Thank you, Brian.